All right, this is the strobe we're going to be using this week. This is an Interfit uh, 300 watt second strobe. Uh, it's got a lot of different features on it that we're going to look at. I'm going to show you real quickly. The setup is pretty much the same. Uh, actually, it's identical uh, to our continuous light setup. We have a knob right here. You can use that to loosen and take it off the stand, mount it back on the stand. Tighten it back up. Uh, right here, we have a knob that allows us to loosen or tighten. This thing's going to pivot, and you can set it up how you need to, tighten it back up, and then it won't move. This is the cover for the bulbs. This right here is the lock for the cover and also the lock for the modifiers that we'll put on in a second. Uh, this type of mount is called a bowing mount. There are three progs in here and you have to make sure that those lock when you're putting a modifier on so that it doesn't fall off and, and break your bolts. This back here is, are the controls for the light. Power, we've got our sync connection. This is where we will put our triggering system uh, and I'll get into that in just a few minutes. Then all the different buttons that, that help you go through the modes and we'll look at the modes in a minute. Right on top of the light is something called a photo cell. Uh, this is going to read or has the ability to read other flashes from other lights and when it picks up a flash from another light it can trigger this flash to fire. Let's go in and let's dig a little bit into the menus of this light. Alright, how we control this light and all, all of these monostropes are going to be the same. We have our screen up here. This is going to give our readout of our power. Uh, allow us to flip through our different modes. We're going to turn this light on. We're going to wait for it to boot up. It's going to give you a readout of a lot of different things. It's going to show you how many times that this particular light has been fired. That's going to give you the voltage uh, coming from the, the outlet. And it's also going to show you what flash power uh, this light is. So just to cycle through a couple of these things real quick. Our mode button allows us to cycle through these menus and we have flash adjust we have modeling lamp adjust we have the modeling lamp and the flash power adjust we have the beep the photo cell and I think that was it yeah and that's pretty much the menu now when we go to make an adjustment to any of these we go to the screen that we want to make an adjustment to and then we can use these arrow keys to turn the power of the flash up or turn the power of the flash down. When we change the power of the flash, we press this enter. What it will usually do is the flash will pop. If the flash doesn't pop, then you need to hit the test button. What that does is that clears the buffer of this flash. So if I, if I were shooting on this particular power, 2.2, and I needed to change that, I would go in, make that higher, press enter, and if it doesn't pop, you need to push test to clear the buffer. That way we know that we're shooting at 2.7 and not 2.2. Now the modeling light is a light that allows you to model uh, the lighting pattern or the light direction or whatever it is that you're using. And I'm going to turn this around just so you can see it. And you'll see this bulb is lit up. And I'm going to turn this light off so you can see it a little bit better. Now this light contains two different bulbs. Uh, the first bulb is this modeling bulb, this long bulb right here. This is a continuous uh, light bulb. It is it's an incandescent light. It's going to stay on and it's going to get hot. Uh, but this is the light that allows you to see where your light is, your light direction, and different stuff like that. Um, so that light is important when you're setting up for your shoot. This uh, strobe tube right here, uh, this is the light that's actually going to pop to basically give you your light for your shot. This bulb does not stay on. This bulb only goes off when you trigger it. And that's what, that's what gives you the light. This allows you to see what the light's going to do. This is the actual light that's going to shoot, that's going to pop to give you the shot that you want. This is called a bowing mount. This right here is the cover for this light. Now what we can do is when we're finished with it and after the light has cooled off, 
you want to put this cover back on. Now you'll see that there are three prongs to this, one here, one here, and then one down here. They fit into these slots. Your modifiers will go on exactly like this as well. You can pull this trigger back, push this thing in and twist it, and then lock it back in. It won't come back off unless you pull this trigger back, turn this to the side, pull this trigger back, twist it, and pull it off. Push it in, twist it, let go of it, that locks it back in. And that's pretty much how the modifiers go on as well. But don't put this on while the light is hot uh, because it will melt this plastic and it will melt it to the light. So after you shoot, wait for the lights to cool off. In our next video, what we'll do is we'll take a look at just a couple of the different modifiers that we're going to be using uh, and how we can connect them to this monostrobe.